Goodbyes are hard. Dude, I'm just going to start talking, and if I say something intelligent, then awesome. Goodbyes are so fucking hard, dude. Change generally is so unpredictable. Life is so unpredictable. You think things are going well, and then suddenly you look around and everything is crumbling around you. And you don't know where to go. You don't want, you don't know what to do. It's just, it's stressful and intoxicating. And all you want to do is quit. All you want to do is quit. But you know you shouldn't. You shouldn't quit, right? You should keep going forward. Keep, tr keep trying to live life. But it's exhausting. It's so exhausting. Every day you wake up and you're just like, man, I just want to go back to sleep forever. But I got to keep living life. I got to keep smiling so that people around me don't get concerned. So that people around me don't get stressed and worry about me and worry about how I'm doing. People ask me, you know, how are you doing? And I say, you know, I'm just vibing. I'm doing good. I'm fucking not. I'm not. I'm stressed. I'm tired. And I'm exhausted. And I'm tired of losing people. I'm tired of looking around and everybody leaving. I'm tired of everybody leaving me. People come and go. And yeah, it's really cool, you know, meeting new people all the time. But I wish I could just have people that I know for a long time. I wish I could keep people in my life instead of having to constantly reintroduce myself over and over again to other people and to myself. Self-discovery, you're constantly self-discovering over and over again. You're constantly learning more about who you are and what you want and what you're interested in. And it's exciting and it's terrifying at the same time. Life's so hard. <laughs> I say, I say life is so hard. But look at me. I'm sitting in my nice little apartment complex and I have food to eat, you know, and I'm wearing nice clothing and everything. Oh my gosh. You know, and I feel bad as well. I feel bad suffering because on the one hand, I'm like, oh man, you know, life is so bad for me, but is it really? Is it? I have everything that I want. I have everything I need at least. Maybe not everything I want. I have everything I need though. I have everything I need. I have food. I have water. I have a heater over there keeping me warm, even though it's the middle of winter. I have a bunch of like stands around me that I can play with and stuff. You know, I have a bunch of colorful buttons that I can press and that do stuff. Any word that's family friendly. See, I have lots of buttons that I can press to do stuff with. I have like lots of glitter on this desk from an art stream that I did earlier today. And so I, I feel like I should be doing well, but I'm not. I'm still hurting down in here and here and here and just here. Here is where I'm hurting. But it's not a hurt, like a physical hurt. It's like someone slowly draining away my soul. And as long as I keep doing art, I can escape. I do what I always do. I escape into the fantastical worlds I envision in my mind. I tell stories and I make art. And I, you know, when I stream and I tell jokes and I make people happy. But what if I want to be happy too? But I don't know how to do that. I make changes in my life that I think will make me happy because I'm sad and miserable. But then that ends up just backfiring and I end up being more sad than I was before. I feel like no matter what I do, I just feel like a miserable failure. And I don't know what to do with that. You know, the entire time I'm filming this, I'm trying to sit in a certain way to hide the bottom half of my stomach because my brain says i am fat right now and so i'm trying to like hide because i feel like i'm fat and i highly doubt 
anyone watching actually thinks that also. Logically, I know it's wrong, so I just have to keep telling myself, I'm not, I'm not fat, I'm not fat. But then the voice says, what if you're wrong, though? What if secretly everyone hates you, but they're just trying to be nice? People aren't friends with you because they want to be. People are friends with you because they feel pity. Is that because secretly, deep down, I don't feel like I'm worthy of love? I think so. Generally, I try to spin things into more of like a positive message, you know? I try to keep things positive and upbeat, you know? Hey, don't worry, you know, you might feel bad right now, but things will get better. I don't know that I believe that for myself, though. It's hard to, at least, it's hard to picture that. Like, I can see how pragmatically things will get better in my life from, like, a materialistic standpoint. I know that when my lease ends in a couple months, I'm going to move in with my best friend and we'll have a, you know, a bigger apartment or whatever. That's going to be cool. But I don't really need a bigger place, I don't think. I don't think that's going to help me be happier. I don't want more stuff. I don't want more money. I just want to be happy. And I don't know why I'm not right now. I'm just tired. Even doing this was a pain in the ass to set up. Not physically. It was super easy physically. Mentally, it was a pain in the ass. Setting up the camera and the microphone. Getting myself to actually get out of bed to do this. It was awful. I don't feel like myself, if that makes sense. Am I overthinking it all? Am I, I feel like I'm, maybe I'm just overthinking everything. But then there's that emptiness. Trying to smile is exhausting. It hurts to smile. Not physically hurts, but like, it's just like the soul gets drained to smile. I only have so much energy, and I'm using some of it every time I smile. It's not in my head. I am dealing with this, whatever this is. It's a real thing. It's valid. My feelings and emotions are real. This sucks. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I was supposed to go into a big rant about goodbyes and how change is complicated and there's a lot of mixed emotions around change how you can be excited for the future and afraid about what you're going to leave but honestly i don't have anything left to say on that because i can't think deeply about anything i feel like i'm just stuck bro my brain is just full and empty it's like it's empty i don't have anything else to add i don't i don't know I'm going to go. I'm going to go. This is nice. This is nice venting. I feel a bit better now. I mean, I still feel like shit. It's nice getting all of this out and just verbalizing it, I guess. Even if it's not very productive. Usually I try to like verbalize all of my thoughts in a productive way and find some sort of meaning behind it so that other people can get something out of this. But I don't have anything productive to add. I'm just venting. Just saying all of the, the shit that's going on in my brain right now. It wasn't productive at all. It's not helpful. But it's nice to get it all out, I guess. I don't think I'm going to post this anywhere. It's just going to fade away into the ether. Maybe I'll watch it or something like five years from now. And be like, oh yeah, I remember that. Hi future me, I guess. Whatever. I know that sounds melodramatic, like teenagers, you know, they're always like, oh, whatever, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. You know, usually that's kind of like quirky and I get kind of excited about like, hey, future me's watching this. Hi, future me, you know, but I genuinely, I just don't care. I think I just don't have the energy to give a fuck right now. I don't care. Time doesn't really feel real. It takes energy to talk about this stuff, too. Honestly, I just want to sit here in silence forever. Maybe not forever. 2,000 years, you know. Forever's a really long time. I might get bored. I don't get bored anymore. Just tired. And I feel like I'm going to die alone. I'm going to be forgotten. I'm going to die. 
and I'm going to be alone, and I'm going to be forgotten. There we go. It's out in the open. I'm a f***ing failure, and I let down everyone I love. I'm scared I'm not going to make an impact. This video can never see the light of day. Too much depressing shit. It's so depressing. I can't think of anything else to say. Literally, my brain is just empty. I'm just, as words come in, they're just pouring out. So if you see just a complete absent, like if you just see a pause and me talking, that's literally because I just can't think of anything else to say. So, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Thanks for watching or not. Whatever. So I don't even talk about goodbyes at all. The entire topic of the video. It's non-existent. Ooh. This is not going to see the light of day. Which is probably for the best. I'm going to go. Goodbye. Actually, last thing. Last thing before I... Last thing. If at some point I do die in a horrible accident or something, you know, you never know when you're going to go. You never know when you're going to die. So I think it's good to get this out here just in case. Um, thank you. Anyone who has been my friend or has talked to me or, you know, given me love or respect, even just, you know, just being a good person, giving me a good laugh every once in a while or whatever. Thank you. Anyone who supported me or watched my content, thank you. Seriously, thank you. You're the reason I keep going. Thanks for not giving up on me. Thanks for caring about me, even when I don't know how to care about myself. Thank you. I love you all. Past Weston. Got a lot of things I gotta say to you. You've gone through some shit. Please remember that your worth and your value is not determined by other people. And what it means to be successful is incredibly subjective. And the only person who can decide what success means for you is you. Please remember that you are valuable, you are loved. And you can know that you are valuable because you are unique. Not a single person on this planet has or ever will again live the life that you have lived. Not a single person has the perspective on this world that you have. You are special and you are worthy of love and respect because this, this hurt, nobody deserves that. Nobody deserves to hurt or feel this type of pain. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. It sucks. It really sucks. Don't let it end that way. Don't let it end that way. You have the power to choose when you say goodbye. And sure, life sucks right now. And you can say goodbye. But six months from now, two years from now, four years from now, eight years from now, Things will be better. And you don't want to miss out on that because you said goodbye now. I don't want to wait that long, you say. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. When I was 12, I'd get into fights with my parents all the time. And I'd always tell myself, you know, oh, just six more years. I remember all the time telling myself six more years. I got in a fight with my dad. In the car, I was 12 years old, and I thought about opening the car door on the interstate, going 70 miles an hour, unbuckling my seatbelt and jumping out. I get it. I get the urge to say goodbye. I get the urge to be done with all of the pain that you're dealing with. But it gets better. And yeah, you go through rough patches. I'm in a rough patch right now, okay? This is not how I am all the time. <laughs> Look at my channel trailer. And you'll see video of me in a not a rough patch when I'm talking about how great life is and like everything is like basically perfect. And that's all true. You know, I was not lying there. I wasn't I wasn't putting on a mask. It was all true. You're going to go through rough, rough patches. Of course. That's life. Eventually, the rough patch will end in a couple months. I'm going to move in with my best friend and things will be better. Just Hopefully, I'll get out of this 
this little pit that I'm in right now. I have glitter all over my hand, sorry. You have the power to say goodbye. And you don't want to miss out on all of the great things that you have in store later. I think part of the problem with being a kid is that you have no control. And when you're a kid, you have no agency over your own life at all. At all. It's always your parents telling you where to go. It's your parents who control your transportation, your your schedule, your bedtime, your ability to decide what you wear, your clothing, your food that you eat. Everything is determined by your parents. You have no control. But as you become a teenager, hopefully you start to get that. But, you know, Not everyone does. Eventually enter adulthood and you can emancipate yourself and you can live independently. And it's fucking hard. It's fucking hard. The longer you do it, the easier it gets. You'll learn to make friends with people and you'll build a new social network. You'll build a new family. Don't say goodbye until you've accomplished everything you want to do. Until you can look back on your life and you can say, I'm satisfied. And then DM me. Because I guarantee I can DM you back with a whole slew of things that you hadn't thought about that you will think, oh man, you're right. That needs to go on my bucket list also, actually. Maybe I still have some more stuff to do. And when you run out of things to think of that you want to do, and I run out of things to think of that you can do, and every person in your life runs out of things that you can think of that you want to do, and you th you look back on every single thing you can possibly do, and you go, yeah, I accomplished everything. I'm good. But until then, don't you fucking dare do that to yourself. Because you deserve better. Don't hold out on saying goodbye for other people. Do it because you deserve better. Refuse to say goodbye because you have more to do here first. Do it out of love for yourself. Because as much as I can say that you deserve love from other people, and you do, you deserve love from yourself also. So give yourself that. If you can't find anyone else in your life to give you love, start by being your first advocate. <laughs> Be your own first supporter. Give yourself love. And decide that you're going to treat yourself better by not saying goodbye just yet. Damn it, now this thing does have to see the light of day, doesn't it? I have little markers here. One thing I like to do whenever I'm feeling upset is I like to leave little notes for myself. I'm going to keep going because I know that I deserve more. Because I deserve a better ending than this. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to give myself a better ending. Someone asked me a while ago what a happy ending looks like for me, what success looks like. And for me, it looks like sitting down when I'm old and gray in a rocking chair, not a farm that I have to own necessarily. I don't want to have to do all that upkeep, but just looking over like nature. That's what success looks like for me. That's when I'll know that I'll have lived life. And I don't, I'm not at that point yet. <laughs> So I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. I'm still working on that one. What is something that you still have to do before you're ready to say goodbye? What's a long-term goal that you have? Let me know. Thanks for listening to this. I hope you have a wonderful day. I am going to go sleep now so I can wake up and read that tomorrow morning. Make sure to give yourself a little note to wake up to as well. Have a wonderful night. Peace out.